inviting me um, to minister today, and I pray that this ministry is a blessing unto your heart. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.
from all over. And the peace and joy that it brings me night after night when he warms my heart. I feel spiritually full. And you know the saying, make time for God, he'll make time for you? Listen, sometimes I'm on the phone until hours, but I still have the strength to wake up the next day and go to work. And I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Because I'm so like, engrossed in a conversation that I don't realize how late it's getting. But I want everyone to know a few things. Number one, know your assignment. God won't send you to the desert without a map. He may hide it so you can find it. Amen. But he will never leave you stranded. Amen. Amen, John. I want God to move for me so much that I don't even recognize myself. I want when God knocks on the door of my heart, I acknowledge his presence so quickly. If God knocks on the doors of our heart and we do not let him in, he will feel unwelcome and unwanted and he will not receive any of the blessings that we deserve. Amen. First Kings 17 speaks about the story of Elijah. And in our lives, we feel like we're in a drought. There has been no rain. We haven't been experiencing the things that we feel we should have. And there's no resources coming in and it feels like everything that we touch withers away. It may seem like we may not be able to escape, but I want you guys to repeat after me. Even though I'm going through my drought, yes. it's working out for my good. Amen, God. Amen. And some of us are too busy in our comfort zone. God wants us to feel uncomfortable. But when we feel uncomfortable, we're like, well, oh, I don't want to feel uncomfortable. But it's so God can move us to a higher place. And I had to learn that because I had to step out of my comfort zone many times, but just to realize that it was God speaking to me so he could open more doors of opportunity. Um, because we are stuck in our old ways, some of us cannot get what God has prepared for us. Amen. And since we cannot get out of toxic friendships, relationships, we will never succeed or go anywhere. And some of us, we are too busy in the sense that I'm too busy to go to church, I'm too busy to pray. I'm too busy to sit down and just say, God, thank you. And because we are so busy, we're just barely making it by. And some of us are, are really, we think that just, just making it by is okay. But some of us are missing out on our blessings because we're just stuck in that space. I'm just barely making it. It's okay. But we have to remember that, once again, make time for God, we'll make time for you. Yes. Um, God's plan isn't for us to just barely make it. Some of us are too comfortable with hiding. Stop hiding because you aren't fooling anybody but yourself. Oh, ahead, if you're not going to be real with yourself, nobody else can be real with you. Right. People oftentimes say they're delivered, but they've actually just taken a pause from what they're doing and haven't realized it. Amen. Be true to yourself. If nobody is pouring into you, you don't pour into them because you will lack what you need yourself. And you will give and give till you give it all you have. Remember, diamonds form under pressure. And there is no value without pressure. So whenever you feel pressure, just know that God is pushing you a little bit. Yes, amen. Um, Lord, have mercy. Some folks have been too busy living in the pain that they become bitter. And they become shut off. How can God use us if we have become shut off? Remember, broken crayons still color. Second Chronicles 7 verse 14 says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, yes. and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. We live in shallow Christianity. We're so quick to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then we go through the same things again. Oh, yes. Some of us are proclaiming Jesus, but our life isn't because we're not turning around. Some people come into your life not to really be your friend, but they connect to you to see what they can benefit from you, just like riches. And Galatians 6, verse 9 says, And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Yes. We have to push through. If you don't put your trust in Jesus, you'll stay in your dark tunnel. Amen. Everybody has a tunnel that they have in their life. There is no light. You can't see a thing. You can't even see a way around. But the reason why is because we're too busy staying in this dark place. Some of us are in this dark place because we stop moving. 
Our friends are not giving us the light that we need. It says birds of a feather flock together. If your friends are not helping you fuel your fire, then what are they really doing there? Yes. Are they really your friends? Some of us have been on the edge of our healing, deliverance, blessings, miracles, signs and wonders, and we missed it because we didn't hold out. We gave up too easily. God is tired of picking us up and carrying us like babies. This is very important, guys. Don't quit allowing folks to tell you what God can do when you can experience it for yourself. Amen. God wants to give us the experience of a lifetime, but we only have to abide in Him. We always tell God what we need, but do we do what He needs? He wants to change our lives for the better. Some of us say, yes, I have a relationship over Christ. Yes, relationships over experience. But I want the experience. How can you have a relationship with somebody that you do not know? Go ahead, babe. And finally, don't just know the house of God, but know the God of the house. Yes. Those who feel impressed to come forward for prayer, you can come forward at this time. God bless you, baby. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's know that this is the day. Hallelujah. How Wait, hold on. I think I see it again. Uh, how many of us know that today, today, Saturday, August 3rd is the day? Now, if you know that this is the day, how many of us know that this is the day that the Lord has made and that I will rejoice and be? And be? All right. So if you know that this is the day that the Lord has made, and we all will rejoice and be glad in it. I want you to stand to your feet as we proclaim that this is the day.
His grace is sufficient. Father, we come into your presence today. Again, reaching out to you from whom all blessings flow. We're grateful today that the message was sufficient. It was efficient. It touched the right places. For we're so happy that before the message came, you touched the right people. Lord, today we are pleased to know that you can use us. And if you're going to use somebody today, we pray, God, that it would be us. We pray for these young ones that you have entrusted us with. Oh God, have mercy. Father, sometimes we worry and we oh weep and we wonder oh that they may be wicked and wayward and wandering, but today you reminded us that their lives are in your hands. And that your power has elasticity. And you keep on pulling at them. And drawing them close to you. We ask you today, God, that you will finish the work that you have started in their lives. As they matriculate through college, open the avenues of their brains that they can come out like Shadrach, Meshach, and I bet you go a little bit fairer, a little bit smarter, a little bit brighter. As they navigate the social fabric of our community, grant unto them the tenacity of an Esther. Keep them, God, rooted as a root, that they will be able to show the world that God is still on the throne. In their weaknesses, God, grant them strength. When their pockets are empty, fill it. And even if God, they find themselves in the valley of the shadow of death, God show up in the midst of their situations, for you promise that you will be with them there. Some of our young people are struggling. Not sure what the future holds. But give them faith today to hold on to you. Because you hold the future. Bless them beyond their wildest dreams. Surprise them of their own possibilities. In a special way today, we lift up young Brother Florima. Who will believe in the safety of this fellowship to travel all the way down to Virginia. God, you know where he's going. You know the situation there. We ask that before he arrive on campus, Jesus. that you will touch the necessary situations that he's traversed through those halls will only bring glory to your name. We pray, Father, that as he plays football, that you will give angels authority over him. May every tackle, God, be cushioned by your grace and mercy. And those who will seek to deliberate the harm in the process, God, we ask that you will confound the work of the enemy and frustrate the plans of the devil. May he show up here in a few years still standing tall for Jesus in his right mind all his faculties in place, bones protected mind regulated and God he will come back with a testimony that the God who sent him out was powerful enough to bring him back in touch his family may they know God that you have him in the palm of your hand Keep them as you keep him. And then the rest of us who know him, may we continue to pray for him. May every now and then our pockets scratch us that we can send a little token for him. That he will remember this fellowship 
and stay connected with him. The rest of the church, God, you call us here for a reason. And this message today that you have given to us, may we follow it. Keep our eyes on Jesus and stop keeping our eyes on people. Because sometimes we don't know what you're doing. Again, we lift up the speakers. Father, what a wonderful, marvelous job they did today. Continue to hold them two together. God, when you come in your kingdom, may all of us, mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, grands and great grands, uncles and aunties and just this whole fellowship will be able to go home to live and reign with you. We pray as we close this prayer today that the gaps in our relationship will be bridged by that ladder that stretches from earth to glory. Build a bridge across from those who think they know everything to those who are just holding on to something. Those who figure that they're already in heaven, build a bridge from them to those who are struggling to get by on earth. And may our fellowship here at Brooklyn Faith be sweet because the haves are helping the have-nots and the made it are helping those who are struggling. May our fellowship, God, testify of the love that you have for us and the love that we have for each other. And finally, God, open the floodgates of heaven and let us see you for who you are. And as we look up, rain down your presence on each and every one as we leave this place today. May we leave with one thing in mind. We would see Jesus. Keep us now in place. What we know not, continue to teach us. And who we are not, continue to make us. Now let the words of our mouth meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. I turn to the person next to you before we sing I am. I just tell them, close the umbrella. Come on, tell them, close the umbrella. And get soaked by the rain. Come on, tell them, close the umbrella. And, and, and get soaked by the rain.
Amen? Amen. Amen.